did you let get... me see let me see let me see no <laughs> how did you get comfortable with sharing your story on social media oh that is a good one really when i realized how many people have the same story okay right for a long time i was reluctant to speak on being in a job that was a great job you know to the world mm -hmm. you know six figure salary working for the government um 401k good insurance all the things i felt a certain kind of way i felt ungrateful internally saying i don't want to be here anymore feeling like i don't want to be here anymore when there's people who don't have that so getting into the coaching industry and letting that be my story it wasn't comfortable because a lot of people's stories are from rags to riches mine wasn't from rags to riches mine was from unhappy riches to wanting a life that that aligned with me and what i felt and what i wanted mm. so i felt like coming out talking about uh a story that didn't start from the bottom start from the bottom now we're here yeah i wasn't starting at the bottom so i felt like people wouldn't hear that but then when i began to talk about it it's like I started reaching people that that was their truth. And I'm like, there's a lot of people that not necessarily hate their job, not necessarily broke, you know, don't have the money and mm -hmm. not necessarily living from paycheck to paycheck, but they are in a career where their season of life has changed and they want something different. And the more I talked about it, the more people would come up to me at, at conferences and such and say, what you said just really resonated with me. I'm in that space now. There's no book on that. There's no blueprint. There's no go to. What do you do yeah. when you're not in the mud, but you want to you want to get to doing something else? What the heck? Show me the way. And I was like, wow, there's a lot of people that are um, that are in the space that I was in. I have to I have to reach more. I have to pick up the mic. And so I did. OK. Um. Were you always comfortable just sharing your whole family on social media? Was I comfortable sharing my whole family? I think so. You seem like you have something you want to say there. No, no, just, you know, you be putting us out there. <laughs> okay, well, maybe the question is for you then. Were you always comfortable, like, since this wasn't your calling, so to speak, but it, it really is. It really is because... When you're the person that is connected to the person with the calling, it, it's, it's, it's your calling too by association because you're the closest person to me. <laughs> it's your calling too by association because you're, you're with me. We're together all the time. We, I mean, God chose us. And this is one of the reasons he chose us. There's not another person in the world that could support me the way that you do. Real talk. So that's a calling too. Mm. So the question is really, I'd say, I, I'd like to ask you, how did you feel once I started recording and showing us out on dates and showing, you know, the vacations that we graciously so often take? Thank you, God. Thank you, AJ. Um, when I started showing more of that and handing you my phone saying, record this, get this clip. You know, how did you feel? I feel like I had a new job. <laughs> Why so? I just wanted to be me behind the scenes. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to be out there in the public and do this. Oh, I want to be out there in the public. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You enjoy it, don't you? I mean, it's I'm I, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. Gotcha. 